day two of clearing out some fence lines. I'm hoping to work more on our fence line here. We got a lot done yesterday. We have some bigger bushes over here and some little bit bigger trees to knock down. But a lot of these brambles are all cut up, cut back. Hey pigs. Zeke. You know, I said at least an hour a day of working on that fence line. Hey guys. Come on, let's go out there. Just two scoops, that's all you guys get. They're cooney coonies, they don't need much. They don't need a whole lot of food here. Just kinda cool. Over here, over here, you gotta trick them. I guess that's why they say they're the perfect homestead pig because they don't need a whole lot of food. <clears throat> and with the feed prices, it helps a lot. No baby pigs yet, no, no. They're, they haven't uh, produced for us yet, but not to say that they won't. They're only a year and a half old. But actually guys, we're thinking about selling them as a pair, as a breeding pair, you know. Not to say they won't breed, they still can possibly breed. Um, I don't know, we're thinking about it. Kinda wish we would have gotten them on our one and a half acres. I think they would have been the perfect pig for a smaller acre like that. But having this bigger land, I kind of want them to just tear up a piece of land, right? Like I want them to dig up stuff. Like they, these guys are almost too gentle. Even if we wanted to put them in our freezer for cooney coonies, it takes two years. So we still have like maybe a half a year to raise them out. But for these two, if we didn't want them, I'd rather sell the pair as a breeding pair. Turkeys are doing pretty good. Let's move them. We gotta move them every day. Hey, turkeys. I was hoping we would have 15 turkeys. You know, that's what we started off with initially. But now, I'm just so thankful that we have some for ourselves and then might end up giving some away. You know, or maybe we might sell a couple. But I was really hoping we would sell like, you know, 10 or 13. There you go. In all the years that we've been doing this and raising chickens, we have never had a chicken hatch out baby chicks for us. Just never happened. No snakes. We've been, I've been feeding hay to the beefy boys more often now. Now that the weather has changed and it's getting colder. We're running out of beef in our freezers. We bought a quarter cow from a friend that raises grass-fed beef. You know, that's how we buy our beef. If we're not raising it, and this, well, actually this is the first time raising beef, but usually, if we're not raising it, we buy from friends, local friends, local farms that raise grass-fed beef. That's how we buy it, we buy it by the bulk. You know, half a beef, quarter of beef, a whole beef. At this point, we're running out of beef, so, I think we need to put these two in our freezer. All right, as much as I want to get out there and do that fence line, because I'm kind of excited about that now that I got that going, I need to edit video. I also edit video, guys, so this is from yesterday's fence clearing that I'm um, hopefully 
I can post that today, hopefully. We cleared all of this yesterday. All this fence line. I could push this back even more. I do definitely want to clear out this at some point. But we got all the brambles off of this fence. This tree I need to get rid of. We're gonna, I think I'm gonna keep these big, bigger trees. You know, this tree, they're like, uh, I think they're like cedars. But, you know, they're just awful. <laughs> Unless they're big, you know, you could harvest the wood and, and use the wood and lumber or some, something. But if not, like, I'm just going to get rid of them because I think they'll just run havoc on our apples. And so there's little tiny trees in here, which I'm pretty sure I could get with that table saw blade. And then these guys, these shrubs, we need to get rid of. I guess you better be safe than sorry. wasn't too bad, was it? Never ending wood. You know, with the wood chipper. I can always bring my wood chipper in here. Or I could just burn it. I'm trying to be mindful of what's above. You know, this, this little tree right here, you know, some of these trees, they're leaning up against each other. And if I take one down, is, is there a bigger tree that, that leaning up against that, you know? So when I get in here, I just have to be mindful for that. That's why I'm wearing a helmet. These look small enough where I can use that, that table saw blade. We're just making our way here. Just keep going up the hill. Dinner's ready, so that's my time to call it, call it. Look at this though. We can actually see these big trees now. Look at this, they were just covered and you couldn't really see them. But now, yeah, it's awesome guys to be able to see these big trees like that. It is soup weather. <laughs> soup weather. Chicken and rice with um, sweet potato and beans. It's just like leftovers, like all a bunch of, we had uh, cooked a whole chicken yesterday and then I was doing something with the sweet potatoes. So, and then we had beans the other day. So now this is just clean out the fridge day. All right, we just had dinner and teachers over there correcting some paperwork. 
<laughs> I tease. I tease. I say I'm the janitor and then she's a teacher. <laughs> so for homeschool, we do a Charlotte Mason philosophy and um, it's, it's not really a curriculum, although there are companies that do sell Charlotte Mason based curriculums. Um, and so we kind of just are eclectic with that and we kind of just pick and choose mostly from Ambleside online and simply Charlotte Mason. I, this isn't like a how, how to homeschool video, but <laughs> this is also just like what we do. And I thought, you know, I'm here, I'm doing it. Might as well tell you what we do. <laughs> Another thing that we are going to be doing, which we haven't started yet. This is our favorite book and we've had this book for years the country diary of an edwardian lady and we're going to do this for nature study slash nature journaling and so this woman edith holden uh 1906 this is her journal like a nature journal and it's kind of it's not really a commonplace book but it's just kind of like this nature journal and she went out every um season every month and kind of just wrote down and drew and maybe even painted um, some pictures and just kind of wrote down poetry and whatever it is during that month that really just inspired her. So we're so excited. We're gonna be doing this, this for this next term. I bought these blank books on Amazon and we're gonna be doing a country diary of Penelope and Lorraine. And we're going to just basically kind of do our own version of this book. This is so beautiful and kind of just write down like our thoughts, poetry, maybe some paintings, maybe some sketching, kind of what we see, what's going on, what we observe out in nature. So I'm excited to start that one. This is really hard pumpkin. All right. The other day I picked up some extra pumpkins for our two pigs. I can't wait. <laughs> Come on, Zeke. I don't have it. I don't have it. She has it. One for you. And one for you. Oh, we can't turn it over. Zeke. Come on, Zeke. Can't you see? Where's the milk? The yogurt. There you go. You got it. You got it. Oh. There we go. I don't know. She knows how to do it. The reason why it's on that little stool is because to keep it, the rain from getting in there. But either way, the rain's still kind of collected in there. Yeah. This has been our nesting box <laughs> for the last six, seven months. It's, it's not, it's not you know, we, we did it because we didn't have one. And when we needed one, it's kind of an emergency nesting box that we have. Not ideal. It works. It works. Okay, the reason why it's not ideal is because it sits outside the coop and so rain gets in there and then the hay gets all soggy and then one of our chickens likes to sleep in there and then she starts pooping in there but I was just gonna say that but then I was like that could be for any nesting box anywhere it would be better to have one inside the coop that way the rain doesn't get in there you don't have to change out the hay as often but yeah. anyway yeah I've been wanting to get there I'm not there yet I haven't had time but to, to redo this chicken coop here. Big Freddy, he's got pants on. Because it doesn't have a nesting box inside, but to put one in there. But that means I just ha kind of have to redo the design of it. I know you, you guys seen this coop here for the last few months. And I built this coop. Uh, some of you guys thought like maybe I purchased it somewhere, someone gave it to us. But this is a homemade coop that I made. And it's just taking me so long to do the video because I'm also making plans on it. Plus, I also, you know, we're fine tuning it. Make sure it's it's cool. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's good enough 
to make plans for. And this week we finished the plans. I'm currently working on the video of how to build this. So stay tuned for that. I take that back. I said it over there is probably the worst of the fence line, but uh, I'm thinking, thinking it might be this right here because these bushes are just so towering over here. I mean, once you get in here, it might not be that bad. Um, because it's not overgrown down in the floor there. It's just mainly the big, the roots of these things um, that we could just cut back right here. Yeah, it seems overwhelming. Especially seeing the, some of them drone shots that I have. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. I just gotta be patient, be patient, and just keep at it little by little. Every morning and every evening, just about, we try to make it a point to hike up our, our mountain here get a little bit more exercise and see the sunrise and see the sunset a lot of the leaves before you know it there's not going to be any leaves no fall colors left it goes too quick i don't know if it's just because this is our our own property and our new property but the colors on these trees have just been so beautiful fall in love with fall i was gonna say and now we will sing a little song <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms. Mushrooms coming out of the cow poop. Signs of life, y'all. Signs of life. 